All right, everyone, for the last part of class, we are going to use a short story we read Friday by Julia Alvarez, name slash nombres. Um, first, I want to ask the class, do we all remember what we settled on as the main theme for this story? Uh, I think one of the main things we talked about was who Avarice, like was and how her names impacted her identity. Yes, exactly, Marcel. Um, that's a wonderful way of putting it. The main theme of Alvarez's story was identity and the different ways in which Julia's identity showed up in the United States. Um, specifically, she relates her different names and cultural background to her identity. So that's a great job remembering that, everyone. Now, today we're going to dive a bit deeper, deeper into this story and use the six signposts of reading. Since we're at the end of class, we only have time to go in depth on two of them, but we'll begin class focusing on the rest of the signposts later. I know we've used these for a couple other short stories, but today we're going to go over them and find examples in names slash nombres so we can read like experts. Can anyone tell me one of the six signposts of reading? Well, we only went over them once, so today we're going to learn an acronym that will help us remember the six signposts. Um, everyone has learned PEMDAS for math class, right? So today we're going to use a, another acronym called CAWMAT. So you can think of it through like CAW like a bird and then MAT like um, a sleeping mat or a yoga mat, something like that. Um, and that's the acronym that we're going to use for the six signposts. So the first three signposts are contrast and contradictions again and again, and words of the wiser, which spells out ka. Today, we only have time to focus on C and W of ka, and that would be contradictions and contrasts as well as words of the wiser. First, we have the contrast and contradictions. This means when a character does something different from what you would expect, you should be asking yourself, um, why do I think the character is doing that? One example from the end of the eighth paragraph Julia says, my initial desire to be known by my correct Dominican name faded. I just wanted to be Judy and merge with the Sallys and the Janes in my class. But inevitably, my accent and coloring gave me away. So where are you from, Judy? New York, I told my classmates. After all, I had been born blocks away at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital. I mean, originally. From the Caribbean, I answered vaguely, for if I specified, no one was quite sure on what continent our island was located. So why do we think that Julia wanted to merge with the Janes and Sallys since she originally connected deeply with her Dominican, with her Dominican roots? Um, Julia wanted to not have her Dominican roots stand out because she was afraid to be made fun of. Exactly, Alexandria. Julia wanted to fit in and avoid being seen as different from her peers. Um, asking someone where they're originally from can be very disrespectful. And if um, we ask where someone is from, when they answer, we should definitely stop questioning their roots from there. And that's a rule of thumb for life and in general. Um, so the last thing we're going to cover today is words of the wiser. So in Alvarez's story, a word of the wiser moment is in paragraph four when Julia states, I wondered if I shouldn't correct my teachers and my new friends, but my mother said it didn't matter. You know your friend, you know what your friend Shakespeare said, a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. My family had gotten into the habit of calling any famous author my friend because I had begun to write poems and stories in my English class. Now again, words of the wiser is when an older character gives the main character advice. We ask ourselves what might be a lesson and how will it affect the character's life? What do we think, guys? I think Julia wanted to not have her Dominican roots stand out because she was afraid to be made fun of. Yes, definitely, Andrea. This also may have taught Julia to suppress her Spanish-speaking identity. Um, so before class gets out, I just want to remind everyone that in this classroom, we will be safe to embrace our identities openly. And um, yeah, great work, everyone. I'll see you in class tomorrow and we can work on the rest of Comat. Thank you.